work something up. Pick up some thoughts. Um, yeah. It's never been a problem. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, well, I guess that's it then. Will you all please rise and pledge allegiance. Thank you. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, are there any additions to the agenda? We had some possible ones. Yes. Does the board have any? I just need the minutes for 12 months. Um, do we have? I can't. I don't have the minutes. They were circulated. Hmm? They were sent out. Um, do we want to add the minutes of 1219? Approved. Should, yeah. They were not approved, but they, I did send them out. Oh, I know. Okay. I'm just asking, right. uh, are so we going to approve them? We, had, uh, we do have something, uh, uh, a paper for a CDBG grant that just needs board approval for a signature. I you want to do that tonight? Yeah, yeah, let's get that done if we can. And we had a couple That's other things. What was it? There was one other, right, Katie? Yes. That came in. Uh, it, it's from Rich later. Ruth. It's regarding um, drill, uh, allowing the mayor to, to give approval for test drilling for the what will be the aqueduct project. Right, let me uh, just so you know what that is briefly. It's uh, while we're in the ongoing slow moving um, discussion of the city over water supply, the city is doing at their own expense a study of our water system and water supply possibilities. They would need to do a some test dr dil drills at the boat launch out by uh, Springtown Road. So that's what that would be, just an approval letter for that. So we can add those on. Uh, anything else? Are we gonna was website for this week or next week? Yeah, I have, it, we don't even need action. I'll just I'll make that announcement when we're done. We're okay. just gonna move forward on this rod revised. Okay. Um, but I'll make a note to make sure to remember to say that. And if that's it, is there no objections? Uh, with those additions, uh, I'll move. Okay. I'll second. Approve. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, do we have a question, everyone? Okay. Aye. All right. So we have two Aye. guests, uh, Camilla and. Um, uh, Wagner, uh, Camille, would you? Al is going to be talking for a bit about the Shanga Mountain uh, scenic byway. If you'd like to stay for that, we can sure. interview after, or we can interview first and have Al okay. second. Okay. So I guess uh, if that's all right, maybe we can turn that right over to Al and Kurt. So they can. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm totally skipping everything here. Um, <laughs> is running here for public comment? It's so thin. And I'm just saying. I I just have yeah, one please. announcement. Um, everybody, member, I sent you, and please think about the budget for next year for the trustees mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay because the mayor would like to have those by the beginning of February so if you have any input or any thoughts I need to hear okay thanks oh and also do keep in mind that there's things like equipment I know we talked about like a projector or things like that it's is that going with us it can if there's something okay. the trustees specifically would make use of um, don't be shy with things like that um, we can talk about it when we see the big picture um, yeah, it's, we, I think we need one in general. But, uh, mm -hmm. All right, uh, nothing. Sam, Joanna, nothing. All right. Okay. Uh, the one announcement uh, Brian had mentioned it. Uh, we had had the discussion, I think, in December about the, the, the website. Uh, Katie um, and myself and Brian Macluso did some research, met with a SharePoint architect, um, and we. I think the board got that email uh, prior to the meeting tonight. But we are just moving forward with the revised contract and also SharePoint on a separate parallel track. For, uh, because they, SharePoint can be used for a website, but at our level and the level of complexity and expense, it's not worth it. Uh, but it is very useful internally for communications. So we're going to do both, and we've just we've just begun. We've just moved do, forward. Do you have any anticipated timeline when it'll be done and ready and do what you want it to do? I can't recall the several. It's it'll be a little while while they get revised, get set up, and. I actually spoke to um, revised. Just gave us the answer that we needed to about who would own the the information on the website, which would be the village. Um, they'll have proprietary rights about certain um, ways that they set up the information, but the actual information belongs to us. And they um, also sent us information about what their emergency management plan is for holding up the back, holding the backup information, which was then Brent sent to Brian Macaluso, which he says looks fine. But all of this only happened on Friday, mm -hmm. and I was at sick on on Monday, so we are hoping. I'm hoping after I speak to the treasurer mm -hmm. tomorrow that we'll be able to send out a check, and I'm hoping within like a week and a half we'll be sending out information. And I know that how long it takes to get the website up depends on how complicated we are, so mm -hmm. I will explain to them that if, if we can just start getting the basic information up, we can happily tweak it, make it prettier later, as long as we can get the information we need to the residents. But the, the deadline is... When when you think it'll be completed? We haven't got we haven't gotten that far yet, but I've it's we'll be holding a tight rein so that we can get that out and to everyone.
do we need to give you any, do we need to review the ideas that people had that we talked about last spring it's, of things that should, you know, be on the site? Want, well, the people thought might be put on. I think, yeah, from what, Katie, what Katie's been saying is that maybe like a phase B. Okay. So, get the, so you don't get need the, to review. The, 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 we made a list. Yeah. Didn't we make a list last I believe week? we made a list. Yeah. We had a list. Then I will, I'm sure that the prior clerk made, left it in a position that I can find it. I will uh, start looking around for it. And right now we're triaging to get the most important information. I'm sure if I can't find the list, I... If not, I may have a copy of it. Yeah. yeah. Just check Absolutely. with Brian, because he knew, he knew, like, I might make a suggestion, but he put it in the right language for me. Right. Okay. <laughs> Um, are we going to have a temporary, or we're just going to just go straight out? Sure it seems worth it at this point, frankly. Um, it, unless there's a, it'll, it'll, we can see how fast Revise can get this up for anything more complicated than whatever it was, fifteen megabytes that we can upload. But with the, uh, you know, Kate with the finance committee things, for example, her breaking it up into smaller sections was right. It works for now, and so we can see we but have that other one. We can always flip no it if we need for to. Any other reports? I, I was actually working tweaking the HR. Tweaking how to get the HR report on today, so I'm hoping by tomorrow well, morning. Well, planning on. and all of it. Mm -hmm. So, I, well, I took HR because it was the, the next largest report. So I was trying to, even if it's a, only two or three pages at a time, it can be. So that, that's my hope is by tomorrow, HR will be up and accessible to more people. But you don't need to do what Jason had developed. Well, we do have, um, I believe, everything that's currently in, in the works on that okay. WordPress. If we need to flip the switch, if this is not workable. Okay. So it's just like, like Katie said, triage and trying to and triage and time management. And everything is PDF. All of the reports have been PDF um, in our system. So if anyone calls, and we have received several calls, especially for the finance report, we are able to just send off the entire report to someone for their review at home. Um, and we haven't had anyone come in and request okay. a copy of the report in the office. Mm -hmm. All right. With that, I guess. Al, Kurt, I don't know who's better to start this up. Two different facets of the same project. If I may, I'll just um, uh, introduce the board so you know Al Wagner, the executive director of the Schwangun Mountains Regional Partnership. Um, his organization has recently uh, completed and published a um, scenic resources guide for planning boards, that is, local planning boards, the um, approximately a dozen communities, including our village, uh, village of Ellenville, and 10 other towns. Um, with the publication of this guide for local planning boards, um, I'd like, in addition for Al giving the highlights, um, the suggestion is that the village board, um, once they've had a chance to review this document, which I think you've received, um, that it would be incorporated into site plan review and subdivision review by the planning board. The best way to do that would be through a minor addition to the code in site plan and subdivisions. And of course, it is a guide, and therefore, it's not so much um, like the um, all or nothing sort of, you know, setbacks and, and very, very um, precise things. It's really more of incorporating a way of looking at and techniques for preserving uh, this region and the view sheds and things like that. So with that, I'd like to introduce um, Al again to uh, talk about that. And then uh, the village board can advise whether they'd like me to um, incorporate that. It is a, a minor code amendment to incorporate it into something. Thanks, Kurt. Hey, good to see you all again. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Pull the chair if you like. People have different uh, familiarities with the byway and the partnership, so if, if I'm repeating myself for some of you, please please excuse me. But but in the uh, in the guide that uh, that Kurt passed out to you, your copies of it, uh, written in the inside front cover is a map. And the byway is uh, is 80 miles long. Uh, the work on it was started in 1999. <coughs> Actually, the idea came from the Mohawk Preserve, who was, was concerned about views from the mountains. And uh, they started out with the idea of a, of a road that would go through the, through the village here and out 299 up over the mountain. And we, we started with that idea. I got involved in it because of doing a lot of bike riding and hoping that, the, uh, that being a, a scenic byway, maybe we'd get some shoulders on the road. Uh, a lot of things have happened then. I don't ride the bike so much, and we don't have shoulders. But um, we formed a, a steering committee of the uh, the towns and villages involved, and uh, and the representation on that steering committee was the 
chief elected official of the, each of those communities. Um, and, and the group that manages the byway today is still made up of the chief elected official of those municipalities. And it's probably the only byway in the state that is organized that way. Most of them were started by tourism groups and, and looked at as a way to increase tourism. Um, we, uh, we added uh, a section going through the hamlet of Gardner. Uh, Gardner at first was reluctant to uh, get involved with the byway, concerned about uh, whether it would uh, provide a, uh, another, another obstacle uh, with the state having to review everything. But uh, we've been reassured, and it's been proven time and time again, that, uh, that this is a local program, not a, not a state program. There were times when I wish it had been a state program, <laughs> when we'd said, well, what do you want? And they said, no, you guys, you know, you gotta figure out what you want. You know, so it's made it a little bit more difficult. But uh, finally, uh, in uh, 2006, the, uh, the state legislature and the governor uh, agreed to our card management plan, to our, uh, our resources, which are scenic, natural, recreational, and historic. Uh, I, I think it's been an eye-opener to all the municipalities to see together, when you look at it as a region, uh, the, the, the great wealth of resources that we have here. Uh, we had done a, uh, a regional open space plan, which uh, came out just at the time that the economy started going down and uh, where people's attention went from uh, preserving uh, open space to uh, creating jobs. And so that was kind of put on the side. However, I still have a box of copies. I'm ready to bring it out anytime that anybody is willing to listen. Um, it was at the time, remember when New, New Paltz passed the, the bond uh, for uh, uh, the ability to bond for open space and and Marble Town did also, and uh, so did uh, the Town of Gardner. So uh, since then, we have a website with an incredible following on Facebook, and we are starting to get familiar with electronic media. Um, and we may be able to, I'm working right now, I'll tell you, on, on how to do electronic media for the region in a, in a big manner. Uh, that's gonna take some manipulation. Um, we got funding for a million dollars from the federal government and the state to upgrade and rehabilitate the scenic overlooks on 4455 by Mohawk Preserve and the one past Minnewaska State Park and uh, the one over by uh, uh, Route 52 outside of Ellenville. And those overlooks are going to be fantastic. They'll have stone walls instead of the beat up steel. There'll be separation from the traffic to the overlook. We'll have an information kiosk so people will know what they're looking at, <laughs> as well as a map of the region and uh, an opportunity to distribute some literature uh, on the resources and, and the attractions in the whole region. The tourism strategy that we have here is, is not to bring more tourists into the area. We get plenty of tourists coming in here and then going home. The idea is to have them come in and, and, and stay a while and depart with a few dollars and enjoy the, the, the attractions we have here, which are incredible in the Walco Valley and the Shawna Mountains and the Rana Valley. Um, about three years ago, we started on this project and, and it's to uh, to provide a guide to planning boards, as, as Kurt said, on, on ways to provide for development and minimize the impact of that development on the scenic views. It, it's not to uh, suppress development. It, it actually could make, if, if a developer came and, and, and took this as seriously as it is intended, he would get his project approved a lot faster. Um, the steps that are, are indicated in here are consistent with the secret process and um, 
You know, CEQA requires every planning board to, to give a hard look to the uh, environmental impacts uh, by the project. And, and if the DEC was the lead agency and went through this process, they would be covered. They would, have, they would qualify themselves as a hard look on it because all the strategies that the DEC would use are covered in here. And I just briefly, it talks about three different uh, levels of uh, scenic resources designated resources, and the byway being a state designated a resource is a, uh, a designated resource, but also historic resources. Come in here, some federal resources down at Shagam at the federal uh, grasslands. Then there are uh, locally designated resources where some of our towns, I don't know about the village, but, but some of our towns have actually gone through and done an inventory of scenic resources. The town uh, open space plan, which includes the village in it, has some. Um, the town of Shangam has done a, a scenic resource inventory um, and Marble Town. And, uh, but but it's, it's really valuable to a municipality to inventory what their scenic resources are and to indicate what their value is, and uh, that that will uh, go a lot towards providing the planning board with um, some justification for uh, some of the things that they may, may feel are necessary to do in order to preserve those resources. Uh, the guide then indicates uh, the different types of landscape patterns that we have in the area. Um, farmland, historic resources, commercial development, and so on. And for each of those patterns, I think there's 11 of them, but for each of those patterns, the guide talks about different uh, projects that can be considered to preserve the scenic resources for that pattern. <coughs> so then the next section is what those different projects or different uh, ideas might be. And they have to do with things like uh, the, the color of the building, like lighting, uh, landscape screening, uh, how to site uh, buildings on a, on a lot so as to have the least kind of impact. Um, the, whole, the whole range of it, depending on the, on the uh, landscape pattern. Uh, that it also uh, refers to different ways of uh, using tools to assess the impact, you know, from the balloon test, which everybody has done, and is kind of a laugh sometimes, to photo uh, realistic reproductions, you know, that actually show you the site before and the site with the building in it, and uh, and it's done uh, carefully and and so that the planning board instead of guessing, instead of uh, trying to imagine what it might be, can actually look at some hard stuff and make some decisions on it. So um, that's it. I have presented it to uh, most of the other towns. I'm gonna to be presenting it to the, the town of New Falls tomorrow night, so if you want a second to go through, you, know, you, know, you may think of some tough questions that you haven't thought of yet. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go through with them. It's been well received. Uh, the town of Shangam is going to tell, have decided that every applicant that comes before their planning board is going to be given a copy and said, if it comes to their, to their uh, building inspector who gives them the application to, to prepare a plan, uh, is, is, given that, is given at the beginning and said be prepared to discuss this. Um, and then some of them are going to be less uh, uh, insistent about because we have a range of commitment to scenic resources. But they all will be starting, I, I feel confident, from the same base. They'll all be starting from this. There's not a lot of new ideas in here, but what it is is organized in a way that makes it convenient and easy for people to, to check it off. So I'd be glad to answer any questions about the guide or the byway. Yeah, yes, sir. On uh, 
said you were out biking that got you into this. Is there a, a chance that there will be funding from any level to increase the bike lanes so that we can have more safe bike routes? I know that's something we we deal with in the village because we're very yeah. closed in here, but on the outside of in the countryside, is there hope that we'll be able to do something to make more bike lanes defined and safer and so forth? Well, I, I have to say that the, uh, the, 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 uh, the person who knows on this, or the people who know on this, is the county. Uh, we have a, uh, a transportation council that includes the state, federal government, and the local governments. They're the ones to ask on it. I, my source is Albany. I work with the, the DOT there. I'll tell you what they told me, that they are gonna have trouble just keeping stuff up. Their funds have been cut by more than 75%. I saw, I, I talked to a, a person in a position up there to, to, to advise, and, um, and they said, that was just right after, uh, not after Sandy, what was the one before? <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah, and they said, well, we, we just had this to deal with. The Catskills was floating away, and, uh, you know, they're, they're really hard-pressed. Um, also, uh, unfortunately, the way it works for the byway is that um, we, we don't exist as a separate entity. Uh, and all the seats at the table for the Transportation Council are either state, federal, or, or, or towns. The, the towns uh, take chances on, on take um, uh, turns in, in, in who's gonna be on the council. So uh, for Sholins, it means a town saying, that's our priority for our town. And it, it doesn't enable us to put together a stronger package with the 11 municipalities, which is a real shortcoming, very honestly, of the byway, that it does not have separate status with the state. It's, it's part of that. It's been a disappointment, honestly. And the, so I, I would say it will be really tough to think in terms of the state putting in money or the, with a, this federal, state, local group putting money in for which might for what might be considered a uh, uh, not not an absolute necessary uh, thing, and and you know they tell you we got bridges for them now. So, but uh, I, I I certainly uh, share your interest in and 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 the road. Uh, a road is supposed to have shoulders. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a it's not a enhancement. It's basic R O A D has paved shoulders, and uh, except in Ulster County. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but it may change. Yeah, I mean, I know there are a lot of people like on the bicycle pedestrian committee and the transportation. Council uh, committee that are trying to get shoulders and have been fighting that fight for a long time in terms of funding on the county level. Um, yeah, so yeah. you know you're not you're not alone yeah. <laughs> in that one. And yeah, and it's been disappointing regularly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dennis Doyle, who is head of that council, uh, told me it's a good thing you got your money for the overlooks because it's going to be years before you get it up. Mm -hmm. well, well, that sounds really great. I, I'm glad to hear that that's going to be, you yeah. know, revamped, and it sounds like it's going to have good things for tourists and people that, you know, maybe are not so familiar with the region and don't know what they're yes, looking at. Right, so it would right, be really right, good. Right, right. Yeah. I'd like to ask that whatever that you do on your website, because I, I heard you talking about doing a website, identify that the village of New Pulse is part of the Shango Mountains region. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like a pretty logo we can stick up somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's like if the individual towns on Cape Cod thought of themselves as, uh, you know, as just as individual towns. Uh, and you got the Catskills, you know, everybody in the Catskills, like, we're in the Catskills, so we're in the Adirondacks, you know. 
Well, this region here has going for it, um, you know, all that any of these others do. Mm -hmm. We don't package it this way, though. The beginning mm -hmm. of Mohangistan. Pardon me? Mohangistan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. right. What amazes me, Al, is you were very enthusiastic when you began this. Yeah. And the enthusiasm and the love <laughs> is still there. It's That's a fabulous right. document. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they were, good, they were thank, big meetings. Thank you, Sal. I appreciate that. that. They were big meetings. I mean, what, at, the, at most, it was 20, 30 people in the room, maybe, most of them. Yeah. Politicians. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All at the Mohawk Visitor Center. Well, we're, we're now, we're now uh, around a lot more. Yeah. Around. And, we, and uh, we only meet when we, when we have to. And, and, uh, we try to be sparing of people's time. Um, but when we have a meeting, they are all there. You know, they come. They come. So, and, and it's because of the mountains. It's because they all have this similar interest. The idea here wasn't to have it be as big as possible. The idea was to have a commonality of interest. And, and that's, you know, that's why it works. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful place. So. Well, Kurt, what do you think about the potential for applying this in the village? Yes, I, I think it would be a, appropriate because um, please come up. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think it would uh, fit well because, um, uh, for example, um, we're considering new zoning uh, that's quite different than our mm -hmm. existing zoning along North Chestnut Street. And I can picture that uh, project by project, as the planning board reviews them, um, that this would be something that they would need. In other words, they're going to be looking at view sheds. They're going to be looking at preserving them. Mm -hmm and uh, not intruding upon existing ones. And that, of course, could even vary site to site, maybe even as closely as next door to uh, one parcel to another on North Chestnut. Um, this, of course, um, the strength of this document, now that, it's, now that it's issued, the strength is in its administration by mm -hmm. town and village planning boards. And I have, um, I'm confident that, that our planning board would, um, would utilize this well. Um, so. It would be part of, as Al mentioned, part of the secret process. It would be part of our zoning. But again, it, it, not to be confused with something that's all or nothing in terms of um, like setbacks for front yards and, and numbers of parking spaces. This would be something where there's a qualitative decision making mm -hmm. on the part of the board. And it's, um, it's nuanced, but it, it works well when, the, when a board embraces it. Now, if I were to write it, um, place it into the code, then the planning board would get a referral um, so they'd, they'd have a chance to look at it, receive copies of it, and consider it, ask me any questions they have before um, responding to the village board. And um, uh, that's the best way to do it. It's still, I think some communities, um, perhaps, uh, are there some who plan to use it, but not incorporate it so formally into their codes? I don't know yet. Okay. You know, some of them said, well, we're going to talk to our planning board, we're going to look it over, and, and so on. Uh, let me mention, that it's going to be on our website. So we downloaded from our website. It's already there. Yeah, right. No, <laughs> just literally days ago. It is. That's right. Well, we, we had it before. We show, I think. We had it <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's now up with the right, with the visuals that are from the original file, not from a, a copy of it. So it's the original stuff. Uh, and, and that original material can be available to the village in case the village might want to do their own spin on it or a, a letter of introduction from the mayor or the head of the planning board or something like that. In other words, if you want to customize it in some way to the village, um, you know, you, you could do that. Well, one of the ways that, that uh, communities often use this type of planning document uh, is they'll adopt it as a guiding planning tool in their community. And then the way they'll incorporate it into the code is not so much as Kurt says, and I'm not certain that this is what Kurt's thinking, but in line with what Kurt is saying, rather than use it as a way of then writing specific provisions that are meant to correspond to it, you would simply say that one of the planning board's findings should be that it is consist generally consistent with I this see. planning document. And the easiest uh, thing to relate it to is um, communities that have coastline to protect will often have a, you know, a, a, a coastline um, planning document um, mm -hmm. that's specific to the needs and requirements of protecting that natural resource. 
And so they don't then write a whole new chapter of zoning provisions about what can be on the coastline. They have a planning document that at least ensures that the planning board can look to a guiding set of principles and say, does this work? And you don't even want really such specificity because th these are not cookie cutter. You know, some applications will have to encroach somewhat on some of these principles in order to better preserve mm -hmm. others. Um, some pieces of land won't be able to comply. So it's not so much that you want rigid rules, but you want a reference to this guiding document. And the advantage of it, I can tell you from a legal point of view, is that one of the difficulties faced by in upholding planning decisions that are based on qualitative judgments is that the people challenging those decisions will often say, it's just fluff. You know, how can you deny my application or how can you say that we can't do thus and so when all you're talking about is aesthetic value, when that's such a subjective thing? Mm -hmm. So giving the planning board guidance and allowing them to rely on it in a finding also protects the decision. It allows a court, for instance, to say this was not willy-nilly. This was not just, I don't think it's pretty. This had to do with a set of planning principles that they can point to and that they refer to. So it protects the applicant and the village um, in its decision-making process. Question. Going the other way around, how do you ensure if it's advisory it's saying take and augment it. How do you ensure, because I understand what you're saying, that you can't impose, but how do you ensure that it'll even be considered? Because the, I'm sorry. That's right. make sure. Because the code would have a provision that would say that one of the findings necessary for okay. whatever, whatever applications you want to make it applicable to will be that in its determination, in its decision, the planning board would have to say, and you know, like in its resolution, for instance, where it says things like, we deemed it to be a type one action, we had a public hearing, all the things, you dot all the I's and cross all the T's. Well, one of those whereas's now would be, we referenced this study, mm -hmm. and, the, and the plan was determined to be cons generally consistent with the provision you say you, because the problem is that everything is always subject to change, it may be that Al will someday amend this, you know, to update it. So do you say the latest version of? You, well, I mean, I think um, it, it, may, it may be amended in some ways, but I think it's, it's meant to be a flexible document. In okay. other words, as long as, as, long as one um, um, subscribes to the, to the principles here and, and the, the value of the, mm -hmm. of the Schwanguns uh, mountain range, then... Um, um, By the way, if it's amended and you adopt that amended version, then it becomes okay, the version. Okay, so we are provided. adopting this, or the planning board is it, or are we adopting? Well, actually, it would be the best way is if the, the village board would simply, and again, Joe's point was important that I, I wouldn't be writing a whole lot of new text and, mm -hmm. and re asking to rearrange priorities um, with the code. Rather, it would be a feature added to the code, a brief one, which incorporates this and says, um, that um, applicants shall refer to it and shall utilize it when developing their plans. Otherwise, they risk um, uh, delay and more questions than they would otherwise need to answer. A a an example of how it would be incorporated, for instance, is that, as Kurt says, when you go, let's say an applicant's looking to make a site plan application, and you might use it in, in the special permit section, you might use it in the subdivisions, whatever, wherever you want to apply it. That would be one of the things the board would be considering. But in that list now that tells an applicant that they need to submit you know, the plan, that the plan has to have the following things on it, that it has to show the neighboring properties, et cetera, mm -hmm. all those things that must be included in order for the application to be considered complete, you would have an additional provision that would say, and it must um, conform. For instance, you could say something like, it should have a narrative description of the manner in which it conforms with, the, with this plan, right? And that would be part of your application. Just like if you were doing a, uh, any other, uh, trying to touch on any other aspect of, a, of an environmental impact, you would ask the applicant to address how, what are you going to do about sewerage, et cetera. The other place it would show up would be in, the, in that same section now where it talks about the procedure and then the planning board, it, there's always a section that says planning board action or something along those lines. 
Now that will say things like the planning board shall adopt a resolution of approval or denial, et cetera. And one of the things it would then say is it will make a finding, special permit's a good example. It will have a list of things, uh, you know, conditions to be attached to the special permit. That, and then it, it would now add and a finding that it is generally consistent with the provisions of this planning document. So the process is that we adopt it. As a planning document. As a planning document. Refer it to you. Refer it to the planning board uh, simply because the, our code refer has that as a procedure. Board. Yeah. Do we and need to have the a public hearing? Yes, in, we in every case of even okay. when we change a word. Would we refer it to the planning board before we took action on it to get their yes. review? Tonight, yes, indeed. Tonight was really um, just, I wanted the, the village board to have the opportunity to hear this presentation. This has just been um, published. So, um, and, but I really needed to see how the village board felt about it. In other words, um, did they want to take the somewhat formal step of incorporating into the code? And, and then as Joe said, you'd incorporate into resolutions and especially um, either a seek or negative declaration, meaning no environmental impact statement or a positive declaration, meaning there will be an environmental impact statement. So this guide would um, factor into that environmental quality review determination one way or another. Okay. So yeah. the first step is we refer. It, adopt it and the, refer the, the to the first step is that we refer it. Refer to the because we board. refer it and get their feedback. And, and then we, we have the hearing. Yeah. Yes. And, well, and, and, and before the hearing, if the planning board, the planning board will develop their recommendations, but then the result of that, if the planning board also appears to be on board, if that recommendation is positive, is you would then direct Kurt to actually come to you with a proposed resolution and local law, and part of that resolution, and of course I would work with him if he wanted me to, although he's capable of doing this, but, but that resolution would say a couple of things. One, we, ad we adopt this as a guiding planning document in the town. And two, we seek to um, uh, adopt the following local laws which will amend the zoning code as mm -hmm. deemed necessary. So you have to dr yeah. draft something to get I think I'm having a semantic problem here. If you want the planning board to do it, do we adopt it and refer it? Which would suggest that we would like it incorporated. Yes, actually what would, what would happen is after this presentation, just to gauge the village board's feelings about it, I would prepare a minor code amendment right. that you would be able to review to see if it's consistent with what you've heard tonight and and consistent with the details that so we're talking about now. So you want us to wait until? Yes, this is yeah. once I know that, don't, that the Don't village, refer it yet. That's right. Okay. Yes, okay. actually I would need I would need to provide you with that, that minor uh, text change. It's significant in what it incorporates by reference this document, but I, as long I didn't want to be presumptuous and come to you with that. Um, and, um, you could have been. I could have been, right? <laughs> it wouldn't have been the most presumptuous thing in the Should world. Be, no. be presumptuous. Yeah, be, you, right. Be yeah. <laughs> Plus, I think you you can you know it's safe to assume that uh, we are environmentally minded and we love the mountains and we would like to move forward with things like that. I thought but, indeed that that would be my yeah. Yeah, I mean I think you knew that, but but also I I mean we could also and Sally, I don't know if you want to accept it. And then next time we'll have something. That's what I'd like to do. Okay. So yeah. we're on record. Right. That's I, I recognize that that's what you perfect. wanted to do. <laughs> I'll move it. Second. Uh, Any discussion? Uh, I don't know. Kidding. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. bad. Uh, uh, I, I. And I, I should also say too, I don't want to suggest, Kurt, I'm trying to lay out the general concepts for how this would proceed. It's clear that Kurt's got a good handle on how it might proceed, and I don't want to give you any preconceived notions on how it's best incorporated into the code. I'll comment just like the board will on whatever you prepare. Thank right? you. Yeah. It doesn't, I'm right. not right. trying to send you in any particular sure. direction. By all means, then I'd be happy to, um, I'd reach out to you during the process sure. if I have any questions about it. Yeah. I, I really like what you said about uh, some, some of the communities are going to have this as like, you get the application and you get this so that they know right off the bat that this is something we're looking at and uh, they should keep it in mind and if they want to you know, have things go as smooth as possible, this is something that they should prepare for. That's right. So they, I think that's an, an important thing. They shouldn't come to the planning board and, and pretend and they be haven't seen it. surprised that this yeah. is yeah, something it's that they're working with. Yeah. Awkward and, and, it, and it could be a delay. Well, exactly. It's just not an efficient use of time right. <laughs> if we want this to be you know, effective. So.
And we do, I do, I think. I think we can do that. Well, th thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Yeah. Well, well, Sal, great, always good to see you. Good to see you, Sal. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for, Al, thank you. I appreciate that we seem to, the village seems to be running like two or three to one in terms of doing things right versus not so well. <laughs> so we got our B3 zone as, as an example of don't do this. And then two pages later, we got the downtown, actually, with Stuart, it was um, as an example yeah, of You're going to have to look at pattern. that whole planning thing and zoning definitions and all of that that we're working on. Yes, to mm -hmm. make sure that this fits yeah. in where it should. Yeah. Yeah. And beautifully, I mean, whoever the designer was, it'd be nice, yeah. it'd be nice if more public policy that? documents were this well designed. Yeah. That's true. Know. Just, it's, how, it's so easy. I mean, don't, you know, that's you why we read it. You can just understand no, but it's this very from the, readable from, too. That's yeah. why it's yeah. Yeah. very well readable. Done. Uh, very that's user friendly. Counts. Well done. <laughs> that's why we hired yeah. the, these consultants. And I have to say, one time it was probably eight pages longer, <laughs> and and a big part of my job was cutting it down. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. So we provide us with another number of copies of that. No, we, we, we were being real tight about that. You guys, I think, 16 or <laughs> 17. Yes, but, we, we uh, do have for the planning board. Yeah. We have them for the planning board, so they'll get hard copies. And now it's up in, in high quality um, PDF yeah. form on this website. So uh, our applicants can avail themselves to it. I think that way <laughs> it probably will happen again. Thanks again. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> well, we might as well get people home quick. Who, who is our young man back here? Oh, you, you don't know what Sam's doing? Is that Sam? Yeah. That's me. <laughs> I, He's I gotten so big. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, do you need something signed? No. Okay, good. Uh, uh, well, let me ask, we've interviewed Camilla already. Um, does anyone feel the need to interview her a second time? No. Uh, no. no. Comments and notes about her time on the preservation commission. So yeah. you I mean, did you have things prepared to say to us? Do you want to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I think I we'll just appoint you. You're short here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just well, okay. to be fun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is Camilla Nagy. For anyone who doesn't know, and she's been serving on the historic preservation committee for, she's been filling the term, right? back here, so I know for a fresh one. Um, do you have anything that you'd like to say to us about the preservation committee, or things that you've enjoyed, things you don't like? Or you, you want us to stop doing con. it? <laughs> it's like preservation, that should be important. Well, I think I should say that I really enjoy being on the preservation commission. It's, I think it's a very important aspect here. Um, it's a Um, I would like to make a motion to approve Camilla and Aggie for the term that we're filling. I don't know. Second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can fill in the details later. Like uh, all in yeah, favor? The, it's Aye. 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 Thank you for your service. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. What? I think, I think, I think, I think it's four. four. I think it's four. Is it a four uh, year term? Okay. I believe that it is, but I will double check on the yeah, line. And so. at your convenience, if you swing by the, the clerk's office, I'll swear you in. Sure. Yeah. Um, all right. Two-year term. Okay. One Just little bit of, oh, sorry, zip by and get sworn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one, one little bit of housekeeping. Uh, just out of curiosity, does anyone have any questions or concerns? You don't understand what they are now. Just any questions or concerns about the minutes, the authorization for the grant, or the authorization for the test drills? If there's no concerns, questions. Wait, what is the test drill? Yeah, the, the test drill. Okay. You can tell us a little bit. All right. So maybe would, would anyone mind if I just put the others on the consent agenda? The minutes um, are fine. So I'm down with the minutes and the CDB. Okay. Any and objections and to that? Because then we would just make it all one motion and a minute. And the proclamation. Yeah, and that's and all you're, one thing. And your I have a question mm -hmm. on that. I have an issue with Arbor Day. No. <laughs> Arbor Day, you have to do. Why does it only come one day a year? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, but we need to get Every our day is tree city. city. <laughs> Trees are for losers. This um, is for our tree city. All right, what did you have a question on? Which one? I can't see what that is. The test drilling. Okay, so I'll just put the minutes and we'll talk for a second about the CDBG and the test drills. Okay. So, but we, uh, we here for the, the event, I believe? Yes. Yeah, so I'm trying to okay. simplify and clarify things now. Um, if you wouldn't mind, you want to say a few words about what the event you have in mind? Sure. Um, and introduce yourselves, please. My name is Mary Godman, Shanghai Wolong Pakistan. And we've been organizing together with other women in the community for the upcoming day of the Shanghai Wolong Parading there. You're um, no, you know, maybe we'll walk on the sidewalk there. Okay. Because you know, we have a bunch of women drummers that are going to come for the actual rally and um, some puppeteers and 
uh, you know, there's a few things that we're trying to organize. Are you hoping to dance on Platykill Avenue at that well, corner or I Main talk Street? To you about that. I mean, I don't, I well, we, we all got the letter, but anyone yes. who's watching at home is interested has, doesn't know what you have in mind specifically. Right. So okay. what do you, what do you, what is it that you would be asking? Like, what does it right, look well, like that you, you're asking? I'll, I'll ask, and then maybe yeah, you know, we can work with that. So you know, I imagine the four corners where you know, Elton Library, Starbucks, so we can gather on the sidewalk areas there. I would love to be able to have that street locked right in the middle. Yeah, 15 minutes tops, probably maybe towards the end, where we can just go in the middle with the drums and, and dance. And, um, and that square. In that square, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I want to be on the sidewalk, though, too, because I want cars to be able to come by at the beginning, at least, so they can see us right. you know, with our signs. But at the end, at, at, at about end. quarter or four, yeah. yes. you'd like to close off Platykill? That would probably be the safest. Right. Are right? you talking about the one? On Starbucks? No, they're talking about on Main Street. They want to, they want Main you Street. Want to be, I'm talking about Main Street. Okay, yeah. you want Main Street. But the our intersection. Inter the intersection. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be the most effective. I think so. Yeah. So we'd I don't have know to close it all. You're talking about the street going towards here. Are you talking about that's that's five, yeah, five. yeah, that is five Right. right. So the side so the back. Well, what about so your, what works for you? What, what, what about is? your path to the community center? We're probably going to take cars there because it's a you know middle winter and yeah yeah. But so if there are some of us, marching there, you know, if, if, if some of us are choose, you know, want to walk there, we'll probably want to sidewalk. And it's a straight shot down Church Street anyway. And yeah, you take a right on Church Street. I'm just yeah. thinking how we okay. could allow the traffic to come down, main go down, north front, and give them. It had to be blocked off the same way the Halloween parade is, but just for 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Unless there's side streets up, up farther. The, you know, I. I if that's Ask for what you want is what okay. I'm saying. Don't 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 be shy. Don't don't negotiate away before you even make your proposal. So ask what you want and let's see if, it, if it's workable. Then we'll walk back from there. What is it? Ideally, what would you want? To, what what do you want? Yeah. Main Street, um, that square closed off and clearly then wherever we have to to get people around it. We would also be very aware that people are in the area. We'd be very careful on the corner so people could get by. We wouldn't be shocking people. But we would like. My question though is, are you? So in order to have the intersection on Main Street closed, will you have to close it off, you know, obviously for the whole thing, before it and-, and That's why I was asking you. And it you sounds know. like you may not want that. You want people to see you yeah. on the street. Well, well, I think well, this is why we can't do it like the Halloween parade for 15 That's minutes. what I'm thinking. You know, it's- Do it like the Halloween parade. Bar the, you know, the horses, the village barricades up. Barricade it right off that whole- Middle thing, like the square, squared off main, this way, Platykill North Front. You'd be in the middle okay. for 15 minutes. This, this did not that the be problematic yet, right? for school buses. No. No. School because buses are done by then, aren't they, Joey? Because if we, they got well, that's good well, for the children we, to see. I, to I think we I mean, want to go to the school. school. You yes. know, the police haven't even seen this yet, and we approve it. They can, well, they, they, they can help us by having somebody helping to direct traffic down. You um, haven't been to the police yet. Straight up, Pros yeah. no Prospect. They would go down Prospect and then go down Henry W. And if you know, for 15 minutes, and I think an office, the police would no, be able two to different things. But they 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 want to be at the four intersections, right? And then no, I'm saying just for the closing of the street, we can have the barrack we can have barricades that we can close put it, and we can it. and we can have somebody directing traffic as yeah. it. They have someone on Main Street, like uh, further nice. down too. Yeah, why not? Directing yeah, them I off of both ends. right. But it would uh, I mean it would only be, it would be like the Halloween parade for you know. Hey Joe, just yeah. as a oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were done. No, but. Just as an abstract argument, since you have to yield to pedestrians and all the crosswalks, if they turn into perpetual walking in that square, wouldn't that effectively do it without our permission? <laughs> yeah. It, if cars couldn't go by because they had to be perpetually yielding to, to pedestrians crossing for 15 so minutes straight. I'm not going to answer the crosswalk. We just walk. Uh, no, because you have to keep moving. You can't stand still. I don't, think, still. I don't, think, that's, I don't think it's the best, though. I'm just saying, as an abstract shit. argument. I'm going to move to approve the request pending. Okay. No so difficulty. Do, do we need to speak to the police? Or? Yes, you do. Okay. Well, so it's really up to them? Hmm? No, this will well, go to them the way parade. No, normally you would go to the town 
because the police are involved and they should do the process. I think that's correct. But is, if you're going to close the street for any period of time, isn't it a, even if it's just 15 minutes, that's what you need to approve, right? Right. And then the rest is the police. Well, the, the police actually approve the closing, I believe. No. Um. We have really the closing, yeah. it's just that um, they have to grant it's, it's a use of resources that are not village control, which is okay. why we sent it to the police right. to get them on board so we're not surprising them with things that they need to commit. Right. So I'm going to move to approve. So you yeah. know that okay. you have to go see that. So, so we have a second, yeah. Yeah. question. Um, we were just discussing what about if you took on a diagonal from the bank towards the PG's corner and yeah. put barricades there and the cars could come down Main Street and go down North Front Street. Yeah. So in effect you'd have a, a triangle in the middle of that square and a little bit of room on Platteville, mm -hmm. a little bit on Main Street. Well, I was going to say uh, that. And that wouldn't stop the traffic coming down. Forever. So then it would be in front of Starbucks and the bank. That street would be close, right? Like well, that's that's what I suggested. Right yeah. on North Front. Yeah, I mean, so you could come across that intersection, so yes. part of the intersection would be gone, but you could still bring cars on the other side of the barricade. I, I was thinking that the police might be able to work with that a little bit more. We still would have a visual. Yeah. And would we be able to start out on the sidewalks in the, in the square there and then move over onto Platte Hill when we want to? Well, you could probably always be on the That's sidewalk. what you asked for approval for, well, so. Need, um, okay. Yeah, well, you don't need, just in, for future events, you do not need any permission to have a moving, um, pro moving. moving march on the sidewalks. The, the, the threshold is you can't block pedestrian or vehicular traffic without permission. So we've had like uh, protest marches that were just walking yes. down the sidewalk. We don't, they don't need anyone's permission. Then you don't have to worry. But if you're standing, like stopping people, if people couldn't walk down the sidewalk because of the event, that's when you start to yeah. get And let's hope that's true. Yeah, exactly. We won't be there. It's hard, it's hard to get any Did time. you we'll say? I did. And we're in the discussion. Is there any other questions about this? And all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for coming out. I really, I really like your idea too about having. Yeah, it didn't yeah. even hear but, from me. Well, well I mean, I mean in the, 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 the also, one. like you're saying, creative visual. Oh, yeah. I mean, the car is moving back and forth. All you could think was going on instead of. I have a question. 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 I have a that's the good news. Jason has promised he will dance. I did me. not oh, promise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Jason is a terrible dancer <laughs> and it will never be in public. That was another piece of the email. I did <laughs> ask that you all please come to this. I oh, I will. Well, I'll be there. That's why I said I'm just not he's going to dance. Your speech is so moving and it'll probably get serious. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're right. solid speech. I wouldn't leave and let you guys go, but the question that I just asked, I want to ask you. Yeah. I, the big part of this <clears throat> waiting to get the approval so that we can start making posters and telling people to come. I have to see the cops first. I uh, would. Okay, because yeah, please do, because it may just cause well, problems for things. I, if the event approved subject to what they right. figured is a, right. a safe way to do it. Can well, I go to our Are we going to send it to the police, or do they have to go themselves? We'll send it to the police. I was going to say, with the board's permission, I can send a quick email to the chief tomorrow yeah. telling him what your approval was, and then... And then, and why go down and say, can I talk to you, or you know, what do I do? What do we do? I, don't, I don't know if you necessarily need to go down there, but I think you could you could make a phone call and just work out the whether or not it's going to be half the, half the okay, intersection, fine, yeah. um, you know, and just, you know, work out if they are and willing to... Who do I it. ask? What, what is it ask the chief? Chief, 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 chief. He'll delegate it to someone else, if, whoever they okay. delegate so, it to. Teresa yeah. Hart is often... And he'll be very supportive. Teresa Hart. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, well thank you for... Really for great just everything thank you for so. giving us the opportunity to... I, for many years, as a puppet here, yeah? Maybe you should bring your puppets. Well, most of them got destroyed by water. But I'll see if I can find okay. well, you know, I think it would be great too, especially to have the mayor and I'll be there. Oh, I'll be there. A community well, I'll be there, but I'm not dancing. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll be there. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. nice yeah. to yeah. see you. Yeah. Goodbye, Joanna. Yeah. Roasting garlic. All right. Um, what is it for so we had a question about What's the. That? Yeah. Yeah. the right. Beach. Right. Which is. Yeah. Yeah. the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. the, the yeah. Yeah. I think that was the Sulan yeah. 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 Prospect Street, I think. Because it has a time dance. I think everything like this should come in and be date stamped. 
So there is no question. I actually have the date. Okay. Yeah. You got it. We have to take the for some reason, so don't bother doing yeah. both. Yeah. No, no, but I mean. We should do both. Yeah. All right. Was that um, the only and, and we only, this is the one that we're putting $40,000 that we have to put up? No, I believe this is the 600000 for the This is the There's 600, no match, 000. no local match. Yes, 600000 uh, grants. It's on the whereas page, page one. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, we, I think we pay Mark Flowers to file it. We don't and pay. Then, this is the sewer. Yeah. But so we need to be aware that we will open that. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. But this was that was approved prior. Like we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have approved. We uh, told him to go ahead and yeah. see here. This is a, right I, need, I need permission to sign this to move this to the next Wait, step. That's see, this is the commitment. Yeah. All right. Do we all agree the commitment of $40,000? I'm going to move that we well, well, authorize. We, we already approved that when we approved the files. Then, then maybe we should. Then we shouldn't have this on the. If this is going to be a long discussion. No, we put it off because I, I just don't know what we're talking about. Huh? Yeah, can we talk? Can you just tell me what we're talking about? I don't know what this forty thousand dollars is going to. The local commitment for the grant is forty thousand dollars. What is that document? Huh? I don't know. The back it was sent on email as well. The, was it in the, CDBG the one sent this afternoon? Yeah. It's the last page. Who is and that? The, what's the last page? Grant administration. This is the one I asked a long time ago. Why are you whispering? Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? If you have a question, it's loud. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, this okay. is the thing we approved. We This process started a while ago. On uh, the June 27th minutes, if any, I have yeah. the update. Did we commit to the 40? I'm checking for you right now. You couldn't get the grant if you didn't put in for it. Yeah. Because I thought we said if we got the grant, that's when we would do it. I don't know what email this came in. Trustee Kim has asked for clarification regarding the forty thousand dollars that the village is committing to pay for the uh, above six hundred thousand. Sounds like something you would do. Uh, what was the motion? Uh, I'm looking for it for right now. Uh, Mayor West requested the following alteration to the agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just did, did we? Well, it was. Did we approve going forward with the grant or not? Because we would have yes. approved it. Then, yeah. Yeah. We never would have okay. gone. Yeah. I didn't think we had. Okay. I'm yeah, going to move true. to authorize the mayor to sign the grant that we received for six hundred thousand dollars, with the understanding that the local portion is forty thousand dollars. <laughs> Any discussion? I need a second. Uh, Stewart. 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 Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Ari, you had a question about the no. city thing? Uh, I, suppose. Um, I, I just don't know what that is. Uh, okay, the, um, it's been a while since so we have an update because this is incredibly slow. Um, is this the aqueduct stuff? Yeah, this is the aqueduct uh, stuff. Before, before we, this whole thing kind of paused last fall. Like a rest, a month. Yeah, they want to they okay. prove that, we, that, that they, they want to show, they need to show that there's no other way for us to get water than um, what we're saying, right going on the aqueduct or going Good somewhere thinking. else. So they, they're basically they want to do things like test the wall kill to make sure we can't pull water from there to drink or test aquifers. So eat, so this is just it's an engineering study that's going to provide us with pretty much a townwide comprehensive water survey. Cool. And yeah, so it's it's more a matter of they just you know, uh, sign up their permission before they go on our plan or public plan to test the water. Um, is the town involved? In this? Uh, not directly. Um, I think they got asked. Um, because there's some documents that, we'll, that like Rich Roof could already provide them. Do we have any other studies that were done. Dave can help, help provide them for things. And I know they got. It is town wide, though. Yeah, because okay. there's users who are on our system not in the village. So, they, so for example, they tested out uh, down by the county fairgrounds, I think, mm -hmm. for the wall kill. And so, even though we know through our engineers that there's so much magnesium and iron and pollutants in the wall kill that no one in the right mind would drink it, and the expense to treat it would be enormous. They're going to double check all of our figures. Mm -hmm. So they just want our permission to, so that we, they don't get in trouble going on the land dating for it to see what the water's like. We don't have any requests from it them. It doesn't cost right? us anything. Is then. this just in terms of the wall hill? Or They're looking at all water sources. Okay, Aquifers. so like they're going to be drilling. 
whole yeah, like it, wells, but not in anybody's yard. Or no, 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 not private property. Oh, my okay. understanding is, is whatever's not included in other studies, they're going to fill in the gaps that they see okay. with these test fields. And, and the idea is to prove that we can't get water here. Well, they're they're going to say they're they're looking at it to try to show that um, we can. Yeah. I mean, our engineers I mean, are basically saying, and even their engineers are saying, yeah, not likely, but we got to do our due diligence. Well, I'm due wondering diligence. just because, like. Park Point, for instance, they were able to drill wells and find enough water to supply the 732 yeah. people. So it's likely that we would be able to do the same thing. I thought the same thing until Rich and, and I think Dave Klaus had said that it's not, there's lots of access to the aquifers, but the recharge rate of the aquifer is nowhere near um, what it would take to, for the village plus SUNY. To, <laughs> we, just, we would suck it all dry. Have we thought the, about? Water catchment systems, rainwater, and filtration. There's biocell technology that we can do this with. Is that going to be part of the study? Um, I'm, I don't really expect you to necessarily know the answer to this. But <laughs> I don't think so. And I, my guess, and it is just a guess because I don't know um, from what I've been educated on from our engineers about how the hydrology works, my guess is that. Um, even even though we could do a lot with conservation and recycling water, still it's we're just not gonna we just we're too thirsty a community. You know, it, we that's my understanding. But I don't know, to be honest. I really don't. Um, and I don't think that would be part of this anyway, because this is just a water quality and and capacity study. So it could be that they show that there's X millions of gallons per minute available. And if our usage is Y, um, that maybe conservation could have an impact. But that's, mm -hmm. I believe, outside the scope of this particular study. So This isn't something we got recently. This is, I mean, we ta I remember talking about yeah. this before. So I, I wouldn't have the documentation. Well, we're, I think we got it. I have an email that went back to 2011. I can try to bring it up and resend it to your RIA if you like. Yeah, I, send it to everybody if you could. Yeah, I have it somewhere, too, if you find it first. Um, um, yeah, but this is, this is something that's like, it's no cost to us. And actually, we get a huge benefit because we'll have a study for all future planning purposes. So, I, know, I guess I just would like it to be more comprehensive, and that's part of, if there, if there's a study being done that we're not paying for, can we get them to do more? <laughs> not <laughs> Go, Larry! <laughs> um, and they're also, they are also hiring uh, Bernier and Larios as subcontractors to help them, so that our engineers are there looking over the shoulder to make sure the numbers are right as well. Um, okay. But I think what you're talking about is, a, is, yes, absolutely relevant, yes, absolutely useful to know, but from my understanding of what they're doing, not not this document. Okay. So. And we have no we have no influence on what they study. Not really, no. It's it's their water system. We're we're like tenants to their water system, so Okay. Um, because the only the only because what it comes down to is, is the, the few unless this study shows something wrong, uh, new or maybe there is something that we could do like with cash and stuff like that would add to the calculus. But as of now the options are um, Link up Highland and New Paltz, uh to connect to the Hudson. And what I've told them is um, I would not let that move forward without a, a, a study being done, a plan study for a 299 corridor, because that would open up massive development along 299. And I don't think anyone would see the targets. I don't, it would turn into Ulster Avenue Kingston yeah. if Walmarts could get access to the water. And, all, and they don't want to get involved in that. And, and the plan, county planning department backed me up on that, that no, they would want to see a, a planning study for that, a regional corridor study. The other one is to connect temporarily to the Delaware Aqueduct down at Island Corners, um, right when we hit Gardner. And that seems um, a huge, you know, multi-million dollar project for a temporary pipeline seems a waste of everyone's money. There's another option that might go up the mountain, um, but it's a, it's a very finite set of options we're going to have. And so this, like Why I said, there's more due diligence. Why can't we just run a pipe without burying it from Island Corners? Well, that's well. One of them is I don't know, but part of it part of it comes from from the access. If there's, if there's a car accident that hits the pipe, yeah, and then all of a sudden we're out of water and the garden's okay. flooded and you know, things all like right. that. But so, we may be able to run something that was you know maybe under the road yeah. that was a better a smaller pipe. That's what I mean. So we're trying to figure out long term what's so we're not. But you need you know, to do this test. We need to do this test anyway. So you no matter what happens. To what? To authorize. Well, I wouldn't like to actually. Someone could move to authorize me to sign the letter. Authorizing them to drill on, on our land. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? Question? Is that, I, I assume this is the, the state that's doing this? Or New, York, New York City DEP. So they, you know, it's, there's no insurance issues or anything. Where it's their problem. They're, that's yeah. their thing. I mean, if, we, if they need our approval to do this, 
can't, doesn't that give us the leverage to ask them to do more? It, it does in theory. I mean, you're right. They, yeah. it, it's your property, so they need your permission. I, I think the practical likelihood of, of impacting the breadth of that study is, is low, but yeah, I mean, they need your permission. I mean, you, you could They're testing could try. four things in the water. Yeah, they're testing the water itself. Okay. And the question but they're also testing is, the capacity. could you, is part of the test to see whether it's drinkable? Yeah. You know, one way to put I guess a good way to put it might be that what they're looking at is where could we potentially get water from and what's the quality of the water at those locations? Right. Okay. That's really what they're looking at. That's okay. all they're looking at. Because, I mean, I, yeah. you know, because when you look at sustainable building practices, you know, individual homes having water catchment and filtration systems, that would supply enough water for any individual home. And especially in the Hudson Valley, in the Northeast region of America, when with climate change we're getting 60% more rain, we could totally do that. Except in the drought. Yeah. Right, but that's, I mean, we don't, you know, when's the last time we've had? Last year. But we last still, summer. still should do the test. But we, I mean, we, you know, but that's the whole thing, though, is that you have enough, you have enough catchment systems and enough, like, 50-gallon rain barrels, basically, to be able to supply yourself with enough water. The, I, don't, I don't, there's a, that's an enormous study. That's an enormous amount of research to be done and not I relevant to this much. project. I mean, it's extremely relevant if it has to do with whether or not we can have water to drink. Well, it's relevant to the issue. Yeah. But I think that it's not like there's one person who's sort of on their end who's deciding what this study is. You know, this study had to be approved from their perspective too. It's got a certain breadth, a certain scope, a certain expense that's approved. So again, you could go back and bargain for them to add more to the study, but it would be a new study. It would be, it, it'd have to go through its own process on their administrative end mm -hmm. to, to get approved for that scope. See, and that I, expense. I think they're coming to realize they are a provider. They are paid big bucks to provide. It, the onus of provision is on them, right? Not on us. If I turn, if if I'm the supplier of water to Jason's house, and I turn it off at the outside, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have any water, but he's been paying for his water and paying for his water and paying for his water, he has the right of expectation. There's a legal phrase for that when, anyway, he has the right of expectation, and therefore- Detrimental reliance, maybe? Mm -hmm. We shouldn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I have to come up with an alternative right. that gives him what he needs. It's right. right, and I don't know if this Well, and that's why I'm saying this could be included in that alternative. And we're saying it can't. There's, it's just because not they, happen. they have to provide the alternative. I, mean, I think Jason's right on that, that. We can't tell them, oh, gee whiz, we'd rather have this than that. This is a supply study, and what you're talking about, while well, legitimate, yeah. is, a, is a conservation study. The two are there's different sets of expertise. I mean, it's, it's only about perspective. You can see it as a conservation study, but it is about supplying water. One of the potential results of the study could be that because they may come to the conclusion that in fact they have to think of something it else. Can, it cannot be supplied from these sources, which would confirm what we think we already know, and that would provide provide the ground for what I'm talking about. The, yeah, the, the, the support for the concept that as Sally says we need different solutions. It's not going to work. Okay. And we'll also find out find what's in the wall kettle. Did we have a second for the authorization? Oh, I, sure. I second. We're just oh, this, this is the discussion part. I'm not against doing this. No, I'm just, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying if we can get more. And I'm not against we'll doing be, that. I'm, you sound I just like don't. You are. Well, no. That's why I keep saying it's it's a good idea. It's just it's it's not it's not the same pot. You know, we, if we want to do that, it's two different two different things. I mean, this is fine. I just, I want clarification. I mean, they're obviously going to give us uh, results of the study. Like, we're going to oh, yeah, that's all of yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, technically, in the future, I mean, this is the, the New York City watershed and their water. They wouldn't have to sell it to us. Under the 20, 1928 agreement, they do have for they can't perpetuity. We also have SUNY, so anytime they try to turn this <laughs> off, I threaten that uh, we'll call, I'll call the governor and see what happens. They tend to back down when I say things like that.
Um, and that's why we had I mean, to study. That, not that they don't intend to do it, but I'm just saying yeah. Yeah. their yeah. their system. <laughs> yeah, they're never going to kick us off because of state university. So we have a lot of leverage. Um, it's just not. I don't. It's not leverage we can run through for what I am saying um, at this particular time uh, with this particular study. Mm -hmm. Bloomberg versus Cuomo. Who's going to win? Um, I mean, maybe, maybe, else? maybe that points uh, to something that maybe we should have a proposal that at some time if they're thinking about it, present to them, not uh, approve this in something totally in parallel. They ask, would, would they consider funding this study? So we're, we're hoping to try these new ideas. And Create our water independence. And maybe that helps them, and, then, yeah. and they have a big part of it. We could be a model community for communities across the state as to how to provide themselves with water. Although, you know, with I think we are coming I, out the I think we have a <laughs> test and bargain later after we have the results. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, well, that's exactly oh, okay. what you just said, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, is there any other, any other questions? We just put it down. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. We're going to do I'll move to, uh, move to approve the consent agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Joe, do you have any updates for us? I, I don't, actually. On all the legal matters that we discussed the last time I was with you, there's, there's really no update. Um, uh, so we don't even need to go into executive session. There's literally status quo on those issues. Um, the, uh, the one thing I will comment on, um, uh, I've been asked whether the last of the fracking laws could go on next week's agenda. Um, earlier today, I responded that I thought it could. I then went to county planning to confirm a different fact about our initial referral. And they say that they're going to consider our application at their February 6th meeting. So. Why are they so? Well, to which I said, guys, I think you already missed it. What are you talking about? And they said, well, I don't think we have an earlier referral. I think we only got this in January, one of the newer, newer submissions that Kurt made. And I said, I know you're wrong. And we had this conversation for a while in county planning. And then I confirmed, I looked at my emails and I confirmed with Katie, there's no doubt in either of our minds that this package went out in mid to late October. Late October. All right, and, and, but county planning is saying they don't have it. Um, I think maybe, if you, you may recall that they canceled their November meeting on the basis of a storm that actually didn't end up coming that night. Um, I think it, they, they may have just sort of administratively let it drop off their agenda and are looking for an opportunity to comment on it. My suggestion would be You've already got a moratorium enacted, so you're protected. You've got the two other laws enacted, which protect your road systems and your sewer systems. This is just the zone. It, rather than, than have a fight that I don't know where we get with it, and by the time we're done having it, it'll be February 7th, that you put it on the agenda for whatever is the next meeting after February 6th, your next meeting, and you adopt it that night. If they give you recommendations on the law, you can either accept them, ask me to redraft it, and as long as they're not fundamentally different than the law that was approved, you won't need to do anything else to approve it. If they say they love the law, you simply adopt it. And if they give you recommendations to which you don't agree and don't want to modify your law, all that means is that you have to adopt it by a supermajority. You mean three out of five, the same number of votes it takes to pass in the first place? <laughs> right. So, um, so, the Bottom line is, at whatever meeting you have next, after February 6th. February 13th. Okay, so February 13th, you'll be able to vote. It would be my advice, after, uh, you know, at long last, as Stuart often says, let's not put us in a position after all this effort where some lawyer from Texas could come up and say there was some administrative error. Um, that would be my recommendation. Put it on the agenda for February 13th and adopt it. Can we do, do the we same thing with the B3? What's but that? The B three went to county. Well, I don't know. I, Kurt's been kind of running that show, but I think I mean I don't know what the timing is. They have thirty days, so. But I mean, if if county planning is this far behind and they're 
two months behind on frack. Uh, does that mean they're two months behind on other things? <coughs> or you don't know. I don't know, but I can find. I'll call tomorrow. I mean, I can okay. simply ask them if that is also on their February sixth agenda, and I'll we, get back to you tomorrow. Do we have documentation that we submitted it to them and sent it to them? We have. I mean, it wasn't certified mail. It wasn't certified mail return receipt, and it hadn't been the practice, uh, as I understand it, of the village. Um, to send these things, and I, I have to tell you, it's, it, it, I wouldn't even say that it's common practice elsewhere either. Um, I know that Katie has adopted that process, even before yeah. this As came of November, I, we have I, adopted the process that all documents that go to the county or to state sec the Secretary of State go return the request requested, yeah. including things like grant packages, so that way we have verification of what of what we send something. What we do have, Ariana, is I, I am really confident, and I <coughs> know that Katie is too, we have contemporary, contemporaneous communication between Katie and I where I gave her the documentation, where she confirmed that she sent it out. I know she's got a, a notation in her day book that she right, sent Right, I mean, I, so, I have those kinds of you know, right, emails. Yeah. Well, and I think I, I even wondering. answered you once and said they have until this period of time. I mean, I exactly. make those days up. So I'm a little disappointed about it, and, and I don't know really uh, you know, yeah. I could have Katie do an affidavit of mailing, which is another way, as Stuart knows, that you confirm those things. But right. I, by well, the time, I, I mean exactly, it's it's not worth. It. I, I I just ask because you know I like to know, no, not because I think we should necessarily fight it, but um, because it's not you know what if it's two weeks away. Yeah. Um, you know, it, 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 but it's a great question, and I do think that even okay. again, even before this came up, I know that Katie, as she kind of honed her skills and practice in, in this kind of stuff had already adopted the practice right, exactly. of sending everything certified mail. So that, look, we shouldn't continue to have that problem and, and uh, it's unfortunate, but that's where it would be. Do you know about the interim zoning law then? Also, sorry, I had you off. The interim zoning law. We're the moratorium on all construction for the zoning. Oh, law. I I don't. I just okay. don't know the date. I don't, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if you were the one who... I, it was I, for Kurt's office actually over there. Okay, that's what I... I, I mean, just, and just so you guys know, it's not so typically my... So unless so I'm so specifically so asked, so either by so Katie so or so by you, for some reason. And in, and this is true in all municipalities that I've ever worked for. You're it's not, not the one who says it's it. It's not usually the attorney that does this. So okay. um, I always will support that process. I'll make sure that everybody's got what they need to do it. But I wouldn't typically know that. I'm happy to follow up with County Planning though tomorrow to find out exactly what new Paul's matters are on their February 6th agenda. Okay. And I'll send you. Where are we in the zoning changes? I got Kurt as well. As well. As, and that was, Kurt is the one. Oh, but I guess both of you are working on it. Yeah, both of us are working on it. I got one set of comments from one of the planning board members. and I, 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 You got comments from a ZBA member. Was it a ZBA member? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, the time that we had set, and I don't remember all the dates specifically, except I know look, that I looked when I got the comments. The time that we set for any additional comments, I know it was passed, so I got that set of comments. I'm working on incorporating them. <coughs> Kurt and I will sit down and clean the thing up. And again, I don't remember the specific dates we said at that meeting. Well, but we we're said on track. Okay, we said middle of January. Right. They go. It set goes to the planning board. Right. A set goes to the zoning board. A set comes to this board, to each as boards review. Right. And okay. so I got. And because we found that in the map, you know, it gets a little tricky. Yeah, <laughs> we just talked. Is that a ZBA that. person? Right. Anyway, and then those three groups were going to review it, get all changes back to you by the end of January, I think, final document for hearing right. sometime in February. Yeah, right. Is that right? right? Something like that. I mean, again, I, I know I have the dates. Okay. The dates parking. So, parking. What, what did you say? The parking changes, the parking laws. What about that? The parking plan that yeah. you were going to convert the immediate things into law. Oh, the things that your your proposals. Yes, yeah. you'll have that by Monday. Good deal. As you will the updated zoning. Okay. Uh, Great. I'm sorry. Just Thanks, some reason I have a question. No, I, I just would like to ask Katie if uh, she put the um, the last ranking law on the agenda for the 13th of February. I made myself a note. So we don't, I don't Nope, I made myself a note right away, and tomorrow I'll put it on. Thank you. And, oh, there was one other announcement I forgot earlier. Uh, we had talked, uh, I am expecting an email from Cynthia Behan about the Peace Park thing, because we wanted an update. 
in January. So, I saw that email. Yeah, but well, I'm going to get something more thorough from her in the next week. So um, we should do that. All right, Joe, any other questions for Joe? You want to have a discussion. Uh, no, irrelevant right now. Hmm? Uh, it's irrelevant right now. Okay. Um, and if there's nothing else, I move to adjourn. And on our litigations, there's no update. There's, there's really no change, not for the better or for the worse. We're, we're bad support right now. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.